Hi, good to see you back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can set up a few things for the course that we created previously in the last tutorial. So when I go to my home page, I can see the course that we just created. Now, I click on the course name in order to get inside the course. And you can see that um, the course is now in a standard layout. On the left side of your screen, you can see navigation panel, administration panels with all the tools. Um, I encourage you to play around, click on all those links to get yourself familiar with the command. Um, on the right side, you can see a series of plots and uh, in order to create these plots and add content we need to turn editing on now uh, right in the middle this is on the prep crumb area we can see the topics um, because we set um, in, in the setting uh, of the course to three topics only so we see topic one topic two topic three now the most important thing that we have as the power of a teacher is this button editing mode so when you click editing on you can see all the things that you can do as a teacher students do not have this button in their account um, so you can add plots there are lots of plots here that you can try add into your course but I advise you to you know not to add many too many plots on okay, your website. Why? Because if there are too many plots, your website will be very slow. And if you take large classes um, and, and the server uh, is not strong enough, then your website may even hang. So only through the plots that you feel necessary. How do you tell if they are necessary? Well, you need to play around and learn for yourself. Okay, which plots you need. For example, I always love to have an online user plot here so that when my students log into the course, they see who are currently online and they can send messages, they can chat with those people. Now, so <clears throat> by default, we can see a forum called News Forum. Um, news Forum is a very special forum in Moodle, it only allows teachers to make posts. Okay, so only teacher can create topics. You cannot ask students to create topics here. And um, when you create a topic, student can reply. So what is special about a news forum? The special thing about news forum is that whenever the teacher make a topic or make a post inside this forum, um, the website will automatically send emails with copies of the message to all students. And this is the uh, functionality that I love to use a lot in the online courses that I'm teaching. Whenever I want to make announcements about scheduled changes, about the okay, activity that I want students to do or remind my students, I simply need to go to the news forum, make a post, and then the system will email all the students. So I do not need to okay, log into my mailbox and email uh, students. I do not need to get a mail list. Right, um, now, um, so the first thing we need to do is to customize uh, this area called parking lot. Um, parking lot is the area where you first go to a building, a school, any place. Um, so this will be the areas that a student first see on their screen. Okay, now. Uh, usually in the parking lot area we have a photo of the teacher at the top okay smiling okay uh, to the students and and then we have a description of the course now so um i only need to add okay a description a welcome message sorry for the students so i click on label okay so we create a label and then I copy this message from my website.
copy right and I paste it here right so this is the welcome message welcome aboard this ELT2 online course it creates the add power to our face-to-face -face session to make the most of the course, you are advised to log into the system several times every week, join discussion forum, do activity creative content, so you can customize this message in the way you want. And I, I click and say to return to the course. Right. All right. Now I will put this welcome message at the top. Now, so I have got news forums. Usually, in all the online courses that I'm teaching. I need to create four different forums. News forum is created for you by default. And then I need to create a resource forum. Um, so I go to forum and click on add a forum right at the parking lot area. Um, so another forum that we need to put here is the resource forum. Now, uh, so what do students do in a resource forum? Um, this is a place where they can share learning resources uh, that they have found okay, and those resources are relevant to the course topics to be sure. So okay, this is my instruction for the forum. Share any materials or resources you find interesting and relevant to the topics covered in our course here. So I just copy this and paste. Right uh, now, so I can select forum type. Um, okay, for resource forum, usually I set it to forum for general use. So click here. All right. So a resource forum. Now. <coughs> From my experience of teaching online, there are always discussion topics in the course where the students are discussing and they feel that they want to go, you know, sideways. You know, I, I, I mean, they, they want to go off track. They want to discuss side topics. And um, um, we do not want okay, those side discussions to mix up with uh, the content in the forum. So it's a good idea to create. Um, a dedicated forum just for the purpose of chit chatting and discussing things that are not related to the course. So I'm going to create another forum called um, Coffee Bar. So this is the course Coffee Bar. Coffee Bar. All right. Um, sorry, Coffee Bar. And then. Um, Okay, I okay, put this instruction in. This is a place for you to socialize and chit chat with topics not related to the course content. So they can talk about love, they can talk about uh, weekends, they can you know talk about anything they like. But I always remind them okay, not to discuss and not to talk about sensitive topics. <laughs> right. Uh, and uh, I also put it in the, the um, general okay, format. So say, so I got. Now, lastly, I need to create another forum in the parking lot area called Q and A question and answer forum. This forum is dedicated to question and uh, that, that may arise in the court and uh, I encourage all the students to answer the question first um, before I come in and believe me if you try to answer all the question that student put here you may want to cue yourself <laughs> because it would take a huge amount of time so I always encourage my students to answer okay, questions from peer and sometimes I come in just to push, not to okay, give answers to all the questions. Right. So this is the instruction I put in uh, this forum. Questions you may have about the topic and contents discussed in our classes.
okay I put description here and for this I choose Q&A form so in, in Q&A form the layout is like this student make okay, a question or a post and then other students can only answer answer they do not create new posts right save and go back to the course All right. Um, what do we do now? We add a chat tool for our student to chit chat. So I create another label. And then put it label to chit chat with your classmates. Uh, I make this okay heading to and then write it here okay this chat box is created to help you chat with other students when they are online okay. Give it a try. Right, so I have just created a label and then I click save and return to my course. Yeah, this is what it looked like. And now I add my chat to okay, this one chat. So this chat activity allows students to okay, chat with each other. It's nothing you know compare with Yahoo Messenger or the professional you know chat platform but it adds colors to your course and it allows students to chat depending on how powerful your school server is um, ELTT chit chat okay. I do not want to type any other description here so I just copy and paste okay save and then return to course okay so that's it I have just customized the parking lot areas okay we think that I want them to see when they uh, log in um, now because we are using Novio and um, there are very few editing tools that I can use usually I I will put okay, a photo of myself here yeah, in this area, okay, a smiling, friendly, uh, amicable photos to welcome my students, and then the message here. Uh, but I cannot do I cannot do this in 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 okay, this system. Um, um, the editor simply do not allow me to do it um, in a good way. And uh, then, okay, right under here, sometimes I may put folders to share the course textbooks. Um, I can also okay, um, put in some other activities like a okay, submission link for midterm assignment for final okay, course assignment, etc. But okay, basically, for okay, a start, okay, this is enough for the uh, parking lot area of the course. All right. So when I click on turn anything off, this is what you see, and this is exactly what our students see. Um, right. So if they want to chat, click on chit chat, and then click here to enter the chat window. Okay. Say so, hi. Anybody there? Yeah, like that. So. Okay, so um, we have just learned okay some of the basic tools in the, the two panels and uh, and 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 uh, 
we have just created some content in the uh, parking lot area and I'm sorry if you see banners going up okay, in the middle of the site this is the price we have to pay for using free services okay. alright uh, so that's it um, we we'll say goodbye here and um, in the next tutorial we start creating our first topic okay, goodbye See you next time.